Hey guys, we're back with yet another Beast Wars unboxing slash let's transform them fast and review. So the last one we did was Optimus Primal and Megatron and that video did so mediocre that I decided to do another one. Uh, you know, those people that watched, it's greatly appreciated. I am seriously just joking. Um, but you know, I always did my videos to, you know, catalog the stuff that I have in my collection so that, you know, people with the same interests could watch them you know we could talk start a dialogue and also you know maybe I can come back to these in uh, 10 years my kids could watch them and see what their their dad was like when he was a little younger and you know just the stuff that I picked up and where I got it from so that out of the way guys out of the packages we have Cheetor and Rat Trap in their uh, beast modes so again they look exactly like um, the 96 versions these are the same molds uh, I think the um, plastic that they're using is slightly different obviously the uh, screws and the springs are slightly um, set differently as well I would say 95% to 99% the same transformation now looking at rat trap first um, He's supposed to be a quick changer, like the first Beast Wars before the cartoon came out, uh, back when Optimus Primal was a bat and Megatron was a crocodile. Oh, uh, his leg popped off there. At least, you know, they're on uh, peg joints, so they're really easy to pop back on. Now, I never had Rat Trap when I was younger. I did have the Armadillo, I had the Snapping Turtle, and they all had the same transforming gimmick. Now, for Rat Trap, uh, he's got a lot of animal kibble on him. You can see his... Uh, fore and uh, back paws sticking right out to the side and the arms are pegged in pretty well next to him so i actually had to stop the camera there to wiggle that out and get the arms out now he looks pretty good he looks fairly close to what he looked like on beast wars but the arms aren't attached to the body they're attached to the back his uh, carrying case uh, the rat body now it's cool that they could put the weapon port storage in there and he comes with uh, two blasters, which is nice, but I don't know, it's playability. Again, I'd have to ask if you're watching, if you're uh, younger than I am. Um, even back in 96, I only transformed the Beast Wars for my brother. Uh, I wasn't playing with the Transformers by then, but playability? Could anyone comment to that? How was he, you know, how did he hold up playing with your toys? This, these loose arms on the side bug me. You know, overall, he's going to look great. Like, for my purposes, they sit on the shelf now, and that's fine. Uh, but, you know, look at them. Like, even if you wiggled the back part, his arms would jiggle a little bit. I'm not sure if you could peg them underneath the rat face, but, you know, for me, they're a little loose. So we'll give him, uh, I'll say 7 on 10 for Rat Trap. Now we'll look at Cheetor. I like the color. I think he's a little more yellow than the original version. I want to say he was slightly more orange. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Now, Cheetor's transformation is uh, pretty simple. You know, the weapons are part of the animal transformation. You know, feet come out from the animal paws to help with standing. Legs rotate. Your standard fare for a uh, medium-sized um, Beast War figure. I gotta say, I really like the metallic blue paint that they used for uh, Cheetor. It really, really pops. I like the way it looks. Again, just, you know, I don't like to look at instructions unless I'm really, really stuck. Even, you know, when they're complicated, it's more satisfying. Not to say that this one's a hard one to transform, but it's more satisfying when you get it done yourself. Now, with that being said, if you need to go on to see, you know, go on YouTube or go through the instruction manual, it's, that's fine. I'm just saying for me, I, I prefer to, that's part of the fun, trying to figure out how they transform. So, again... I haven't uh, transformed a, a Cheetor in uh, like 20 years, so I'm just going through the motions. There we have a, a crotch plate that comes down. Like I said earlier, the, the hips swivel. You get that nice blue and spiky legs in the front. Ah, look, see that? You turn them at the knee. Clever, Hasbro. Well done. The arms come off the back. The cheetah head will come out and recenter. The new um, 
War for Cybertron uh, Beast Wars, it was pretty pretty cool. If um, Maybe one day I'll do that Cheetor too. I'm sure if you have it or if you've seen a review on it. Uh, I like the way it's reminiscent of this transformation where the head will swivel and come backwards down on the body for the, uh, the robot mode. So now we have uh, Cheetor in our robot mode, and I gotta say he looks very good. I always liked his color scheme, uh, his character, he was good in the show, in the original Beast Wars. The only thing, I always feel like I could push this, the head farther in, but it's stuck. I, I can't do it, I don't think it's supposed to. You know, if you're looking at it uh, face to face, he looks great, but from the top down, there's a huge gap behind the, the cheetah head. You know, not the end of the world. Like, see right here, it looks like you should be able to push this in, but it's actually um, maybe beveled the plastic and it won't go in. So, you know, it, it feels like it should and maybe it does. Again, let me know in the comics, comments if it should, but uh, for me, it wouldn't. And there we go, like Rat Trap, another piece uh, of the plastic popped off. Like I said, like it doesn't feel like it will break, but the plastic molding is, uh, it's like brand new and a little stiff. No, I'll mention again that I, I always thought it was very cool. It sucks when you lose them because the transformation never looks right, but I always liked that the weapons were uh, part of the uh, the beast mode. So we have our two weapons for Cheetor. Plug them into his hands. Double fisted. Good boy overall. I'll give Cheetor uh, an 8 on 10. And then, of course, his uh, his mutated face. We discussed this in the last video, uh, my theories of uh, why they have those mutated faces and how they worked it into the show. But overall, great character. I like the way he looks and having all the guys together. We got the whole team over here. Uh, these are the first four. I hope that we get more of this uh, retro reissue Beast Wars. But here are our four and this was Rat Trap and Cheetor. Uh, let me know what you think of them down in the comments, guys. I love reading the comments and replying back to you. Uh, I'm trying to get back to all the comments currently, so if I haven't got back to you yet, uh, be patient, I will. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of days. Take care.